Here it goes. Oh man. Oh man. All the way? Yeah, dude. See if it works. What the heck? Nice. Get right. Hey everyone, I'm Steve from GamersNexus.net and I just wanted to show off more of our set walls. So you've seen this in a few videos now, but just to give an idea of how it was made, we're gonna talk about some of the basics here. This was a long time coming. The set wall is awesome because it lets me set up now three lights. So I've got one, two, three, and then one below me, so four lights. That lights up the wall pretty evenly. I'm still playing with it, trying to figure the exposures out exactly. Keegan Gallic, our video editor, is helping a lot with that as well. So it helps us set up the lighting better. It doesn't eat all the light like the gray sheet does from the previous temporary set. And it just gives us something that's got more of a professional look. It's got sort of a shop look to it, which is what we're going to, rather than the modern Ikea look. Nothing wrong with that, but it's done a lot. And we're gonna add to this as we go. I have some pretty cool ideas that I'm eager to explore with the shop look. So basic setup here. We've got some pretty hard to obtain weathered wood, at least hard to obtain at a price that's not scary. So that's the weathered wood. Underneath it is a basic frame that you would build for really any sort of set wall. And then we use a really lightweight wood called Luon, and that is what we mount the weathered wood to. So the purpose of that is to make it mobile. That way if we move, we can actually move it and not just have to throw it all away. And then this has a bit of a problem because it's big. It won't fit through a normal doorway just like this. So we had to hinge it. There's actually a secret hinge in here where the wall is two separate walls. I think it's right here, but it's actually pretty hard to tell, especially from the camera where you guys effectively are. And that is where the frame splits. So it's two frames. We cloned it. And in between there's some hinges it bends over backwards and then we can pick it up and move it really easily. It's pretty lightweight, goes through doors, all that stuff. So that is the wall. Just wanted to show it off, really basic stuff. And then I also bought two chairs. You've seen at least one of them now. And the two chairs are used for what I want to do in the future anyway, used for multi-person videos. So I'm hoping to get Keegan on the, on the camera here and we can talk about games or get Patrick Stone on camera and we can talk about hardware. You've seen him before in the virtual reality videos. He's a very sharp guy, just hard to get a hold of for sit downs. So we've got some fun content coming. I'm really trying to introduce other people to the videos on a semi-regular basis. I'm still gonna be here, still gonna be doing it as many as ever, but it'll add some diversity to content and build some personality for, uh, for the rest of the site outside of just me doing all the videos. So. That's what we're looking at going forward. I even bought a, uh, a sort of silly coffee table. I mean, it's, it's a nice coffee table, but um, it's just for basically holding a laptop and things like that. You've seen it in some of the videos and product shots. And consequently, totally unexpected, it produces a really nice photography setup for some of our product photos because it, it reflects the product. It's, it's cool. Check out the G630 review for photos to see, uh, see how that works. So I, I guess there's no real point to this video other than look at the cool stuff we're doing and it's because of all the huge support from you guys. Patreon obviously is important. We've gotten a lot of new backers on Patreon, but that's, uh, that's not everything. Just watching the videos is key. The videos are rising in popularity. We have a higher baseline of traffic than ever before. The website's doing really well. Sharing the videos, telling everyone about the good content that we produce that you like, that they should know, posting it on Reddit, all that stuff is hugely appreciated. And this cool set and all this, it's its because of the viewership. And I guess I should also say that uh, at a, a more personal level, having this setup to film really enables me, enables Keegan to just drop a tripod, throw the camera on it, flip switches on the lights and go. And it's it's a fun environment to work in. It feels more real and professional, and it's it just makes things easier, faster to produce good content, and not have to work so hard trying to get camera angles to get like background pictures and uh, dressers and stuff like that out of the shot. So it's it's just a lot more fun to work with this environment. Really excited about it, and of course the article content is as strong as ever. But uh, we're we're doing a bit of video and article split these days. I'm still doing. A lot of everything, 
but I've got some help on the sides doing like the video editing, the filming, all that. So it's going well and I am greatly appreciative for your support. And as always, check the links in the post roll if you're interested in finding out more about the site, Patreon, related videos, things like that. Tweet at us if you want to talk, at GamersNexus, and I'll see you all next time.